1955, Norma Jean Baker walked into Grand Central Station in New York accompanied by a journalist and a photographer. It was a pretty busy but nice summer day and as they got onto the train, people looked at her but no one really recognized her, despite the fact that at that point she was really famous. As they got off the train again, Baker wanted to prove her point, so she fluffed up her hair, she struck a post, she pulled out her flare, and there she was. The one and only Marilyn Monroe. Within a minute she was surrounded by fans, and that is exactly what having the right body language can do, what having the right energy, the right flair can do. It changes your entire personality and appearance. In this video, I'm going to prove you the importance of body language, I'm going to tell you how to improve your body language and how to improve your posture, because good body language is nothing if you don't have a good posture. Welcome to Brains Applied. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive a notification next time when I upload a new video. In 2016, several researchers investigated the role of body language in dating. They paired up men and women and put them on a lovely speed date. But in fact, in each pair, either the man or the women was a research assistant and they were told to have either an expansive body language or a more closed body language. In the end, it turned out that people who had an expansive body language were 76% more likely to be picked by their dating partner than people with closed body language. That is quite a big difference. The researchers also investigated the role of body language in an online dating context. So imagine Tinder. It turned out that men with an expensive body language or pictures of an expensive body language had on average 26% more chance to be picked by female mates than men with a closed body language. The differences between women with an expensive or closed body language is much, much, much smaller. But this mostly has something to do with the fact that on average, in an online dating context, women are just picked way, way, way more often than men. The reason for this phenomenon is that body language is related to having a higher perceived social status, having more dominance and more openness. And although I've only given the example of a dating context, I can guarantee you that this is important at any moment in your life. Let me give you another example. Yesterday I was in the classroom and I was listening to the presentation of a fellow student. That fellow student is on average, honestly, not very bad looking and he has this impressive deep low voice that's I mean he could get some girls to be honest but he was doing his presentation and I wanted to punch him in the face I'm not a violent person but that guy just annoyed me he was just standing there feet next to each other with his arms next to him arms in his pockets and he was just, his face was like, I want to get out of here. I don't feel comfortable. And it's so, so, so annoying. Honestly. So please remember, body language is probably one of the most important things that you want to have. And it's especially important if you want to make a good first impression. At this point, you're probably like, okay, that's great. Body language is important, but what is expensive body language exactly? Expensive body language has three different factors. The first one being be expensive. Use those limbs to make yourself big. Put your feet wide apart and use those arms. Make yourself big. Put them above your head or beside you or in front of you. Use those arms. Use them to be expressive and energetic. If you've seen my charisma video, you know that being expressive and energetic is very important. So please use those arms. Number two is be open. Don't cross your arms, don't cross your legs. Keep your hands out of your pockets. And number three is use the space around you. It should seem like you are completely confident in the space around you. So use the space, walk around a bit during the presentation. Remember, if you do this, don't always do the same movement. 
I remember this guy in high school, he was doing a five minute presentation and during this presentation he was just doing one movement. He was just walking two steps forwards and two steps backwards. And he just kept doing this the entire time for five minutes straight. At the end of the presentation the entire class was laughing because he didn't notice but we noticed and it looked so silly. Let's say you're at a bar and you want to invite someone to come over and to make contact with you. What are you supposed to do? If you're a girl, it's fairly easy. You just make eye contact. Don't stare, just two seconds of eye contact and you smile. If you're a guy, science says that it's slightly more difficult. You make eye contact, you smile and you need to have that expansive body language. If you're a guy, you need to look like you can provide some kind of security. Also, you need to look like you're social. So, please have fun. I've been to a lot of parties where you just see groups of guys standing there with their beer, not even talking to each other, just looking around. And they... Are you really expecting someone to come over to you if you're just standing there with your friends and you're not having fun. But on to the next topic. How to improve your posture. You're sitting on a chair behind your desk all day long and this is pretty much the worst thing that you can do to your body. Because your head starts going towards the screen, your shoulders become tilted and your back is not straight up. You can have all the great body language that you want, but Good body language is nothing if you don't have a good posture. If you want to improve your posture, just imagine that you're a puppet and there is a string coming from your head and someone is pulling that string. Just pull yourself straight up, just follow your finger. Now you might still have that computer neck. If you want to prevent that, what you want to do is do a bit of a body roll. Just Roll your upper body a bit to just tilt it a bit backwards. Now your neck is pretty much straight up as well. The last thing that you want to think about is your hips. Let me show you. As you are sitting on a chair all day long, your hips start tilting to the back. So what you want to do if you want a straight back is just push your hips forward. Just squeeze that butt. This will help you to keep your back straight. The first few times that you're going to do this, it's going to feel very weird. Believe me, I've been there, I've done it, it feels very weird to squeeze your butt while walking down the stairs. But it's very important if you want to improve your posture. Another thing that you can do is starting to work out because your muscles are, in the end, what keeps your body straight up. Don't focus on your chest and on your abs. Don't focus on the beach body. Focus on your shoulders and your back because those are the muscles that keep yourself straight up. And you can have all the nice beach body that you want, but if you can keep yourself straight up, you're still going to look shitty. And I just believe that you guys can do this and that is what I wanted to tell you today. If you like this video, please press the like button and if you know a topic for me to talk about in the future, just drop a comment below. Most important, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive a notification when my net next video is published. And most likely it's not going to be next Friday. Normally I publish my videos every Friday, but next Friday I will be going on a trip to Sweden and I'm not returning until the Friday after. So I don't know yet when I'm going to publish my next video. So if you would like to know, just press the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will receive a notification when the next video gets online. And I will see you guys later.